There was drama at the High Court's complex Friday morning as armed police personnel led the Accra Regional Director of Operations, ACP, Kwesi Ofori, who tried to refuse organizers of the Fix the Country protest into the court. It took the intervention of lawyers for the convenience who are the respondents. They used to get them into the courtroom. Eventually, the case was called, but the lawyers for the convenience prayed the court, grant them time to file their responses, adding that they have been engaging by the respondents in the matter. The court presided over by her leadership, Ruby Ayete, adjourned the case to June 14, 2021. People should not come en masse. And that individually, they can come in to the court. But looking at the premises, the police are here, one, to provide adequate security for the court building and all the other costs therein. So, coming en masse with placards, flags, and other paraphernalia, among other things, may mar the beauty and ethics of the court. In view of this, my men on the ground decided, among other things, that they could leave those placards, they could leave the flags, and then also, you know, limit that militancy and go to the court as individuals. So that was the position of the police, but that was misconstrued. But at the end of the day, the police balance issues and they were in. So as soon as we got to the gate, of course, because of our t-shirts, they knew who we were. So they said, oh, fix the country. You can't come in. So we said, ah, they said, no, first they said, stand back. So we said, oh, okay. So we thought they just wanted to engage. And they said, you can't come in. And we said, why can't we come in? They said, no, because you're not allowed in. They said, ah, but we've been asked to come to court. So how can you tell us that we can't come in? So then I said, okay, I'm taking my phone out. I'm going to do a video. Tell, I want you to repeat what you just said on video. So I decided to do a Facebook Live. So while taking that video, and then he said, why are you? Then he took the phone, and of course he saw him trying to drag me, us trying to get the phone out of my hands, and then just telling us that we can't come in, we need to get our lawyers. At that point, they realized, so that's basically what happened. It was just basically, they just, first of all, in the morning, we're supposed to meet at TUC. The police went there in their numbers, they gathered there in their numbers to wait for us. I don't know what they thought was going to happen. When people, 4 a.m., at 4 a.m., they were at TUC waiting for us to do what? When people need the police, you're calling them because some armed robbers are in your house. They can't even turn up. But on Yemabi said, yeah, they've managed to find the time and the energy and the resources to gather themselves. Look at us. How many of us are there? Why do you need that level of aggression at the gates when we've been called to come to court? I mean, we are not armed. We don't have anything with us. We are just coming in as a normal people. And we saw other groups coming in. It could be family of five or four. And they were just coming. And then you said, fix the country. Let me meet you outside. You pull all of us outside. And the next thing is, I won't allow you to enter. You know, because you have representatives in there. So we were like, our representatives were not set. We were set. And the last time you were in court, the judge did make it clear that if you do not have the conveners here in court, I will not sit on the case. So how do you stop us and insist that our representatives are in? You know, and they manhandled her. How can you be pulling her and pushing her? And one of them, one of them actually had a phone.